Yes, you are going on the tree. Trust the sandwich, then we'll try and mince pie for the first time. So is that beef? <laughs> Last of three, I wasn't 100% sure. <laughs> Another day, another vlog. This is vlog I know, pretty much is. I can't remember the last time I like ended a vlog in the night and then started a new one the next day, you know? Like I don't I usually know, do like that. It's round dog day. I know, but this time there's no secrets. I'm openly a brunette. If you haven't watched my last video, my blonde brunette transformation, do go and watch it, link up here. That was yesterday for us. Yeah, I woke up this morning like, whoa, who's that in the mirror? And we had a dreadful night's sleep and actually I'm a little bit hungover because if you did watch that last video, you'll know that we went out and had espresso martinis, too many, too late as well. And then Storm Arwen decided to visit and basically my view now is just a completely disheveled garden, I'll show you. Nice one, Arwen. Like everything, like, oh my gosh, I just can't even face it. Yeah, it's just completely blowing a gale out there. But anyway, with that said, this vlog is gonna be a very festive one. We are on a mission to get a Christmas tree. It's 9 a.m. on a Saturday, so will we get one? Probably not the weekend before December, but we can only but try and get a Christmas tree. Maybe put it up and decorate it if all goes to plan, who knows? And then I'm thinking maybe we'll have like a Christmas baguette and bake some cookies, who knows what this vlog's gonna entail, but I know it's gonna be a good one. So if you're not subscribed, do subscribe. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday. Give it a like, guarantee you're gonna enjoy it. Chef Jeff, oh, you feeling baby. the festive vibes? Yeah, I've just got you made up with an elf. And I'm wearing my favorite Dave, fleece right? from, thank you. I'm wearing my favorite fleece from SLA, which, um. It now comes in a different design, actually. It comes with like SLA, the oh, label, yeah, but I've got the OG and I wear it all the time. Let's go see if we can get a tree. Woohoo! I'm just gonna get my usual clear like hang today. Hi. Hello. Basically, we have two tomato snuggles and two mince pies. Here's an interesting fact about me that you might not know, which you definitely don't know, and that is that I've never tried a mince pie. Never tried a mince pie in my entire life. They do not appeal to me at all. And if I'm gonna like one, it's gonna be from Broad because it's just divine in there. So that'll be fun later in the vlog. First time trying a mince pie. We will do that to, well, Jeff's obviously tried a mince pie. And then we just picked up my absolute fave. The Holy Grail Tomato Snaggle. Like, they're just, look how good that is. Just so, oh my God, just so good. The wind, you guys, is this necessary? Do we want a real tree or a fake tree is the question. Should we have a look at the fakies? Oh my God, this is so exciting. I'm literally in my element. Sorry, but like, that's a fucking bargain. And we've, that's massive and it's, Green and fluffy. Let's go and have a look at the real ones before. Feeling very excited, if I'm being completely honest. I'm, I'm hungry for festivities. God, what an absolute tease. You can't go out there because of the wind. And they're really nice as well. Look at all the Christmas trees, like all over the floor down there. They're like in the wind. It's like, look at, oh my God, they're all completely disheveled. Mental. Iga is coming home with me. We've opted for a fake tree because we can use it then year on year. We don't have to strap it to the car because neither of us know how the hell to do that. And um, it's all about how you decorate it, isn't it? Do you reckon that we're making the right decision here? We're probably not. Real is better, but I mean, so we're not going to get it. Okay. Let's get some lights and gubbins, shall we? Yes, you are going on the tree. Very successful trip, actually. We kind of did get everything we wanted. We bought a Christmas tree. A fake one, another fake one, a little one. Got some potpourri, we got lights, we got didn't stuff. Get polar bear, didn't, we? didn't get the polar bear, unfortunately, he didn't make the cut. Poor guy. Got some stuff to make a Christmas sandwich. So I think we're gonna put the tree up later, but we're gonna make a Christmas sandwich pretty soon. And I might put some of the little trinkets up. Like, should we go put that in the living room and. Shall we? We. You? He's already started. You're already started. And then, well, you do that and I'll put the potpourri out. You do that. Okay. Here we go. You can put this in here and it's going to smell all Christmassy and nice. Oh, and I've just spotted something else in the corner of my eye. Got some turkey and all the trimmings crisps. And 
some chocolate orange buttons for tonight. We also got some stuff to make a stir fry later, but no doubt you'll see that. Right, let's put this in the bowl. Very festive. Oh, let, there, let there be light. Lovely. more festive in here. Festive boyfriend. Little tree. This is actually the advent calendar I bought for my niece. It is sick. Like, at the size of that. Look at the size of that bad boy. Actually, when this video goes up, it'll be her first day of opening that. That's cute. Yeah, so we just got a little mini tree. This is like an LED candle and like the whole thing lights up when you light it. So that'll be fun. We can light that when it. Can you stop touching my bum? I'm not doing that. Oh, okay. And then my potpourri. Do you think that looks cute? Your potpourri? <laughs> it smells really nice. Nice, I'll eat that. It does smell nice. You gonna, can we make a festive sandwich? I'm gonna make a festive sandwich. A festive sandwich. A festive sandwich, then we'll try a mince pie for the first time? Yeah, yeah. Well, you've tried one, but. I'm yeah. gonna have a festive sandwich, and then I'm gonna try a mince pie for the first time. I mean, it's pretty obvious what we've got in here. A bit of cranberry sauce, a bit of turkey, a bit of stuffing. I'm, I've literally just drizzled a bit of gravy on top. I feel like jelly. This is the greatest sandwich in the world. This is the greatest sandwich in the world. Fair play, this is sick. Oh, fair play. We bought some recyclable Percy Ping wrapping paper, so if you're getting a gift from me this Christmas, this is what it'll be in, 100% recyclable. Love that for M&S. Why? I'll be wrapping yours in there as well. Bloody bad, not me. Why? I'm not right. Three? Hmm. Might as well be. I'm really not sure how I feel about this. I've never tried a mince pie before. And they just look hanging. Am I going to like it? Is it like, does it taste like cloves with cinnamon and stuff like that? Yeah, no. Maybe you're just saying that. There we go. This is what we've got to contend with today. This is our mince pie. I mean, that's one of the bougiest mince pies I've ever seen. Is it? Yeah, I mean, you'd normally just see the ones in there. Oh, God, it looks absolutely grotesque. I'm literally only doing this for the video. It looks absolutely rancid. I want to see your because I like them, I've had them, so this is no, like, thing for me. It smells like spaghetti bolognese. Oh, does it, does it buggery? Just get it down here. Does it bug, oh, does it buggery? Oh, does it buggery? <laughs> Please like this video, because I really don't want to do this. It's like a bush tucker trial. Oh yeah, that's a that is like a bull's penis. I'm exactly proud the of same. That. Bet you would. When you get more pastry, at least you'll like that. The pastry is just gonna be good, by the way. It's not how bad is it? No rooms in there. Um, some do, some don't. I, I don't. I don't know. I've got roses in there. I should have made this. Got roses in there. Oh my god, it's got massive raisin in it. Sorry. All right, well that's not I didn't know if it had raisins in it. It just doesn't like raisins. I thought, is it not mincemeat? It is, and it's, um, I'm actually, I've never made mince pie, so I don't actually know what goes in them, but I didn't think raisins were in it, but maybe there is. The flavour's like, okay. <laughs> I, think, I like them. I think I might have liked it if it I wasn't. I might have this bit. I think I might have liked it if it wasn't for the raisins. Absolutely covered in crummies. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Literally. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. And Monica's, we get to eat them over the sink. That pastry is next level. That's a 9.5 out of 10 mince pie. Is it? That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, genuine. Like, well, you must admit, like, the pastry you like. But here we are. I'm a bit annoyed actually because I do think I would have liked it if it wasn't for the raisins. <laughs> so is that beef? <laughs> mince meat. Is it beef? But I don't know like the answer to this, be, I'm not 100% sure. It can't be beef. In, beef in a dessert? Beef in a dessert? Oh, boy. I'm going to the gym in a bit. I'm just going to like bomb everywhere. Tell us again that you're going to the gym. Oh, they just need to know I'm a fitness legend. What quality mince meat? Mince meat is a mixture of dried fruits and spices. I have never tried one. I said you were saying beef in <laughs> Well, no, it's not fucking like spag ball. I just don't know. <laughs> No, I didn't. <laughs> well, actually, truly, I wasn't 100% sure, I'm honest. But, uh, <laughs> You asked the question, 
saying you're on Google. <laughs> but you've been them before. Yes, <laughs> no. You know what you know what they are. I mean, you've been around for thirty years. <laughs> you've been them before, and you thought it was me. No, I didn't think it was. I just wasn't hundred percent sure what the hell was in it. Uh, hence the reasons. <laughs> oh, mate. That's the hell. God. Are you? You didn't know. But I've never. You should know. Let say it again. <laughs> but you've been in them like every year. No, like one a year. Well, two and a half. I'm probably going to have to. Just a casual chili in your bag. <laughs> literally, you can't read. I, got off. I didn't say it was beef. I just said I don't 100% know. I've never made one. <laughs> You've been eating it. So mincemeat is just dried fruits and spices. Oh my god, I'm absolutely screaming. Right, just get my stuff together. Um, I can't really rate it well. Well, I'll rate the pastry, that pastry specifically, like 10 out of 10. Oh, banging. The ra the mincemeat, e.g. the raisins and stuff, and like that was just a vile to me because I don't like raisins anyway. I think I was at an unfair disadvantage. Like I thought I was eating like a chili con carne in a pastry. God, that my stomach hurts. It's just so funny that you thought it was me <laughs> when you've eaten them before. <laughs> I mean, I can't wait for it to edit this and realise that I just said I don't know a hundred percent what's in them. Yeah, I didn't know. I don't know what's hundred percent in those Marmite wheels there, but you know. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god! Anyway, Jeff's going to go to the gym. I'm not sure if we mentioned that. I'm going. <laughs> I want to go. I need to go and edit my hair transformation vlog, so I'm going to do that for a couple of hours. We'll catch up with you when we're putting up the tree. Sound good? No, I'm moving on. <laughs> I'm moving on now. Okay. I'm gonna go make a spag ball and put it in a case and put it in a shortbread. and put it in a case of shortbread. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make spag ball and shortbread and then just shortbread sandwich. That's what you wouldn't be surprised. That's what you think you eat every year. <laughs> Two hours later. Nothing says Merry Christmas like Boris Johnson <laughs> and some turkey and trimmings crisps. On the plus side, that is a very delightful. Just candle, Thank you. LED oh, candle from M S. Loving it. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas time. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in my heart But this year I wanna hang out with my friends and family Making angels in the sand, you ready Doesn't matter if it's Christmas Who is obsessed with these little oranges that I made last year when we were like basically not allowed to leave the house? So how crafty of me. Are you a fan of the tree? I love it, you know. I, I can't say whether these a little bit more, but you know, we'll see. But yeah, no. Anyway, it's now time for dinner and we picked up in MS. They do like those six pounds stuff. I'm sure they've been six pounds like since I can remember, which is quite cool. Well, they've not gone up due to COVID slash Brexit, have they? Basically got, we're gonna have prawns with, it's like pak choy and baby corn. There's like peppers and carrot and stuff in there. And then we've got peanut pad thai noodles. And then we've got a pad thai sauce. So we're just gonna chuck it all in a frying pan and that'll be our Saturday night stir fry. And so, okay, let's make some dinner. Pajamas on. 
<laughs> I love them. You look sick. We can either watch Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. We can watch um, the Christmas Prince Royal Wedding, which is the sequel to the one we watched the other day. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban it is then. Do you want to watch Harry Potter? Yeah. You do? Yeah. I was very sensible and recorded all of the Harry Potters when they were on ITV so that we don't have to pay for them. Should I go and quickly take off my makeup jacket? Yeah, go on. Should I? She may want to. Let's do my evening skincare together and then I'll wrap up this video. It's nice doing skincare together, isn't it? Slick this brunette mane of mine back. This, sorry that this is probably too late to tell you this, but I think it's usually 40 pounds. It does last absolutely ages, but it was like 25 pounds on them. Um, look fantastic for Black Friday. So it is literally like, the best. It just like melts off your makeup. It really so good. But what I like about it is that like you don't have to use loads of um like cotton pads and whatever. It's just take these out. It's like a little bit better for the environment. Like just using a balm and then obviously water to wash it off. Although I have heard that like makeup running down the sink is also like bad for the environment. It's like literally just it's just so hard. You can only but do your best. I mean, I've, I've, no, I've got makeup all over my face, but then I'm gonna wash my face with the Calen Kiehl's Calendula face wash. So like the Animus Balm kind of like takes off the makeup and then I use this to kind of wash my face clean. And the Animus Balm, you can take off your eye makeup with it as well, by the way. Like I literally just like kind of rub it into my mascara and it's great, really great. Get nice and clean, should we get nice and clean? I know I said you save cotton pads by using the balm, but I do occasionally use pads because I use three different toners. I know that's bougie, but I just really like a toner. For the calendula toner, I put it on a little cotton pad and just swipe it over the face. I know this isn't the best lighting or whatever, but my skin has actually been really good lately. Like the best it's been for ages. And I'm not saying it's because of this, but I've been having a ginger and turmeric tea every single morning. And I know that's really good anti-inflammatory and I'm like, is that why my skin is so clear? I've got no idea, but I'm gonna keep doing it. Okay, so for eye cream, I'm gonna use the Origins Brightening Eye Cream. I actually usually prefer this one under makeup because it really brightens up the end dry, but smash it on for tonight. I haven't found loads of eye creams that I love. This is definitely, the only one I've repurchased and will keep repurchasing. So if you have an eye cream that you love, please leave it in the comments. Like, I've tried the Kiehl's avocado and I really didn't like it. I just found it really thick and like, just didn't feel like it did anything. Like obviously I would love a kind of anti-aging one, but yeah, if you like any, let me know. I just need to decide what I'm gonna use. I actually got gifted these um, Ren products and these two, I got gifted the three the youth serum, the oil, and the cream. I do use the cream, but the serum and the oil is like absolutely fantastic. So I'm just gonna put these on tonight. The youth serum first, and then I'll just press the oil in and then I'll do us, but I'll definitely be repurchasing it when I run out. It's like a little bit expensive, but again, my skin has been so good. And that's the only, I mean, the only things I've done differently is having a ginger and turmeric tea and using these. So, I don't know. I don't know why it's so good. It doesn't deserve to be gray. Like my diet's not really been on point. Like my training's been good and my diet's been like, not full of vegetables, basically. Protein has been good, but micronutrients lacking. Okay, that's my very quick skincare routine done. If you're gonna get one product from the Ren Trio, it's the bioretinoid range, get this oil and put it on at the end. Have it as your last step. Press it in, even like put it on your neck and your chest. Chef's kiss. I'm not gonna put any lip balm on because I'm gonna have some chocolate and then brush my teeth. Whoa, it's all different. Shall I put on the screen our favourite meme? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, my absolute favourite meme where just Jeff does do the face that you do. <laughs> I just love it so much, it just cracks me up every time. Um, anyway, we're gonna watch Harry Potter. I'm gonna have some chocolate orange buttons. Jeff's gonna probably have his chocolate oppo ice cream. Yeah, I'll probably steal some of those buttons. For oh, I've got me Edwig. Yeah, I brought that in for you. Wow, f me off and call me Albus. Can't say that. I can say what I like. Okay, <laughs> right, Albus. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow we're gonna go out for like a festive roast with the family. So the festivities are gonna continue, but I've got lots of fun festive yeah. like videos planned. So 
do subscribe. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday. I'm, I'm gonna end this video here. That is what we are doing before we chill out for the night. So thank you so much for watching. Just thought I'd set the tone for December. Not a lot happened in this vlog, but appreciate you being here and enjoying the festive period with us. Christmas tits. I love it. Yeah, if you enjoyed it, please give it a like. It really helps me, it helps my channel. And subscribe because I upload new videos every Wednesday and Sunday and I'll see you in my next video, which will be on Sunday. Goodbye. Merry Christmas. Bye. Happy Hanukkah. And a happy new year to you. Bye. Bye.